Good morning, give me a sec to post this. And um, if you're just logging on, go ahead and share this video. I'll be giving away um, two shaman sticks, two San Paula sticks. Hold on one sec, this isn't showing. So, it's a high vibe day. Um, I got up really early this morning. Um, I must be excited um, because it's my weekend today. Hold on one second, I'm just going to post this. Um, it's my weekend today, so I'm extremely excited. So, I woke up like really early this morning. I'm not sure why. Um, I actually like these solar storm storms a lot better, though, than any kind of lunar event. I have one more to share, just bear with me. So, it's really a high vibe kind of energy day, and I'm excited. Hang on. I like to put it a lot of places. Um, so I have something different to do. I want to talk about Twin Flames today. Um, so I just put a post on my page, which I'm about to pull up right now. Bear with me. And go ahead and share this video and I'll mail you a shaman stick when you win, which is really easy to win. Um, I pick low numbers, so if you're just logging on, you're at an advantage. Um, give me one sec. I'm trying to pull up this post. So I wrote something this morning that I want to talk about. Okay, I wrote, I am long, just in case anyone didn't see it. I'm longing for my flame right now. I thought I could put this to good use for anyone else that is missing their flame right now. Even in separation, twin flames only have one energy. Any emotions you're experiencing, your twin flame is experiencing as well on many levels. It depends on how awake your twin is as to how much conscious awareness they will have they will have of this. Remember, we're all connected beyond the physical. We can love and communicate beyond our bodies. No matter where you and your twin flame are, you're all separated by cords of fate that connect you always. What you're seeking is seeking you, is a great exa example of this longing. When you put out the vibe for your twin flame, they'll feel that vibration. We long for our twin because our soul knows that's where we belong. Strongest together, weakest apart is a great quote to explain why so many people are separated from their twin flames right now. It's much easier to take the divine feminine sexual power by keeping her separate from her divine masculine counterpart. Remember, we're powerful magnets that come together in perfect divine timing. It is this longing that helps pull you back together. It is my pull that makes my twin flame run back to me. It works both ways though. I can either pull him to me or repel him. Be aware of this. Make sure you're not actually delaying your union by repelling each other. The easiest way this is done would be merging with the wrong person. And remember, every person is the wrong person except for your twin flame. Ultimately, we're here to merge back into oneness with that one person we're meant for. Every reflection here is to help us with this mission. Okay, so I had, um, before I do the news real quick, I had someone write back to me and tell me that, um, that something to the effect of that it was pointless to be longing for your twin flame and that when I healed myself, I would reunite with them and that that spark was within me. <laughs> Sorry, this person doesn't know me well, but I know them well. And this is not someone in union. This is someone that's miserable and single. So I'm not going to take that advice. Um, let me say that it's a choice that we're separate. It's a choice. It's a free will choice that we're choosing. We can choose reunion or we can choose to be separate. And let me tell you something. My healing didn't begin till I met my twin flame because you're not going to heal that pain or that separateness when you're still apart. It's impossible. So um, I see a lot of people that are longing for their twin flames, okay? My twin flame um, spent his entire life awake and conscious in this matrix, okay? He woke, he woke right up. I'm not even joking. So he was longing for me for probably a good 10 years before we reunited because of my mission and where I was. And he was conscious and awake and longing for me. And it definitely wasn't delaying our union. It helped our union, actually. So a lot of people, if you're aware, um, if you're aware that you have a twin flame, you might be the spiritual twin. Remember, we take turns each life. There's a matrix twin and there's a spiritual one. And we take turns descending. We don't both just descend in one life. So we take turns. And any other partner is a reflection getting you ready for your twin flame. Um, I have people ask me about when I met my twin flame. And it's so hard to put into words all this stuff. But let me tell you, um, I have had a soulmate relationship. I've had a billion karmic relationships, which were not very fun. I've had the soulmate union. And then I had to pay off karma in between, and then I reunited with my soulmate. I mean, my twin flame. So I've had these different type of relationships. Let me tell you about the energy you will feel when you meet your real twin flame. Because I know a lot of people, um, they are with their flames now. <laughs> They're with their flames now. 
and they might believe that but if you're really with your twin flame you'll have perfect astrology this is the best way to tell you'll have perfect astrology for each other as in the perfect match I'm a Taurus my twin flames are Virgo it's a 9 out of 10 out of matches so it's going to be the best elemental match for you first off um, you're going to feel insane energy I like to call this energy God. I don't know. Everyone else has a term for it, but I would equate it most with God. It's a source energy that I was feeling. But when I actually touched my twin flame, it will. it's a lot like when you take ecstasy where you can just orgasm from touching a person. It was like that, like touching in a non-sexual way where it would make you orgasm. There's such insane, powerful energy around you. You're going to be able to tell in a minute. And, um, a lot of people have healing to do and they're going out there and they're searching for these twin flames and all you're ever going to get is a karmic partner that's going to destroy you and teach you how to love yourself. So yes, I agree. We don't go out there looking for our twin flame. Um, we have to go within to find that to a certain degree. Actually, it's all about going back to source. And I'm drawing you guys to me for a reason. This is very divine work I'm doing. It's spiritual work. So I'm drawing you guys to me like a magnet, depending on if you need healed, if you're about to reunite with your twin flame, for whatever purpose. So it's kind of amazing. Um, but we choose to go back to source at any time on this journey. We have to choose. We have to use our free will to choose to go back to God or source, whatever you want to call it. And until we do that, we're not going to reunite with our flame ever. So that's really what it's all about. Um, but don't think that if you're longing for your flame, it's going to make it worse. That is going to magnet him to you or him or her to you, believe it or not. Um, I know all about it. I'm still learning how to put it into words. But me and my twin flame are powerful magnets. I'm pulling him to me right now. So wherever he is, it's very hard for him not to be coming back to me and running back to me because of that crazy pull right now that I'm putting out there. So if anything, you want to magnet your flame back to you. You have this amazing ability, your magnets. You can either repel each other or you can pull each other back together. So um, the best way that you can repel each other, and we know all about it from fighting, um, literally, if you fight, you will repel each other. Like, you will want to run away from each other. Like, that's why a lot of people go through the runner-chaser thing. You will not want to be around each other um, when you have healing to do because you're going to be seeing all the things you don't like about yourself reflected back to you. That's what these arguments are about. It's about healing work you have to do. I see amazing healers that still have so much healing to do to come back into that perfect peace, love, and hum uh, harmony union. They might be with their flames, but they're not in perfect peace, love, and harmony all the time. I'm still working at achieving that. I'm not... Um, a master at that yet either even though my husband is an ascended master it still takes a lot of practice we have to really come into balance with ourselves before we can come into perfect union with another person um, I don't know how many of you guys have had bad relationships <laughs> who's ever had a bad relationship because I have okay so I don't know if anyone's had a bad relationship maybe it's just me I'm just assuming that probably everyone has okay we have these bad relationships so we can see what we don't want what doesn't work how are you going to be happy and complete and know what you want unless you have experienced what you don't want so these are just mirrors to work on ourselves every relationship you've ever been in that person had qualities of your twin flame it was practice so you might have liked this guy because oh my god um, they had the most amazing brown eyes right they look just like my twin flames or oh my god I loved his sense of humor whatever the reason was that drew you to that person it was because they had a quality of your twin flame and uh, you're getting ready for it as practice so if you don't if you're not happy in your relationship you have now then you're not ready for your twin flame so I would work at if you're in a relationship maybe making it spiritual maybe making it work or leaving if it's not for you the biggest mistake I see is people who are longing and waiting for their flame to come rescue them and they're in a relationship I had to be single to meet my flame I needed space in my life so that my flame could come in and meet me if I didn't have space if I was already in a relationship there would have been no room for my twin so I needed that space so just stay aware of these things. Um, there's just so much misinformation with Twin Flames going on, like literally. Um, sorry, I'm getting messaged about stuff too. I just so much misinformation. And let's just put it this way. I've been targeting my, I was tar not now. I was targeted my entire life by the dark side um, for my gifts and for my powers. I was really targeted and kept asleep and kept like at a low vibration. And I remember telling my flame when I met him for being so, and I never heard the word low vibration before. This was all new to me, right? I was very asleep. 
But these words clicked. He would say certain words to me like low vibration. I downloaded the word ascension, the word twin flames off him. I started downloading stuff off of him rapidly um, without him even telling me. I just began downloading all of his knowledge off of him and him with me. We've really merged together and put all of our experiences together. So you're only half of the puzzle. <laughs> like we merge into a complete uh, unit, me and my flame. So it's really amazing. Um, there's just so much misinformation. Don't think um, that lo not longing for your flame will keep you apart. <laughs> that lo not longing, and I get attacked on all these posts because guess what? The dark side doesn't want you guys with your twin flame. If everyone was with their twin flame, imagine how happy and in love and amazing everyone would be, right? Oh my God. So you've been targeted too. Anyone who has a twin flame here has been kept purposely apart from that person. I assure you at some point, um, just whether it may be a relationship that was sent to you to keep you distracted, whatever it happens. Trust me. So watch out for this stuff. You're going to know the second you meet your flame in a minute, you're going to look in their eyes and you're going to recognize yourself in another person. And I know we're all one, but we have different vibrations. This is a person with the exact same vibration as you guys, as you. The same vibration. So I told my flame, you have a real low vibration for being so enlightened. He did. Because my vibration and his vibration were the same. So as long as my vibration was um, kept down because of pharmaceuticals, cigarettes, whatever else I was doing at the time, bad emotions, you know, just the normal 3D matrix kind of stuff, his vibration was low too. I was dragging down his vibration because you only have one vibration. You're only one unit of energy. So I could be in Tibet and my twin flame could be on Mars. And literally, it doesn't matter. We share one energy no matter where we are. It doesn't matter if we're on a different planet. So literally, you share one energy with this person. So for anyone out there smoking, doing drugs, hurting their body, whatever, you're hurting another person. This is how we learn empathy and compassion. You're literally hurting that person. Let me tell you a good example. Um, I just had surgery, okay? Not to mention I've been through hell and back with my twin flame, before my twin flame and with my twin flame to evolve us to where we needed to be. So I just had surgery. Um, I was in the emergency room and I was shot up with Valium of some kind. It was like Valium, right? My twin flame will tell you that the second that needle went in my arm and that medication went in my arm, it not only made me high, it made him high and sedated too. Not even joking. I've seen it. Like, I've seen it where literally, if I was to do drugs when I was, um, I was on pain medicine when I met him, I would take it and his eyes would become pinned. I've seen it. Where you're affecting another person. Each soul is made with a divine feminine and a divine masculine. So every time you've ever hurt, you've hurt another person. Every time you're happy, you're making someone else happy. So start to think about your actions a little bit deeper because you're affecting another person whether you know them or not. You have a partner that works with you on one soul and that's the amazing thing that's how um, we can learn so many experiences and keep our purity and keep our pure state because we don't descend to by ourselves every life we have someone there waiting to catch us when we're ready to come back to source and it's amazing so just be more aware of your actions because you're actually affecting someone so if you're smoking a cigarette you're affecting your twin flame no matter where they are you're dragging down their vibe so maybe um, take a better look at like the food you're eating, your lifestyle, and think about how your actions are affecting others. Imagine if everyone stopped competing, stopped with these 3D illusions of separateness and jealousy and all this stuff. Imagine how beautiful our world would be if everyone was just nice and kind and compassionate to each other. It would just be, wow, a different place, right? A different place. I go into the matrix now and it's not like that. That's what we're working at. And you come back together with your twin flame to do a mission of some kind. And most notably, um, uh, out of those missions, I would say Jesus and Mary were most notable because they were on a twin flame mission. She actually wasn't a prostitute. I know these stories, right? She wasn't a prostitute. She was actually very divine, and so was he. And it was because of her he was able to ascend. So um, if that love wasn't there, he wouldn't have ascended. So that love is necessary. That's um, We come back together when we're ready to ascend with our twin flame. And since I'm teaching ascension, all of you guys should be getting ready for um, reunion with your flames if you're not already with them. Everyone, everyone tuning in. So um, just focus more on your actions. Any healing work you do now is going to help your twin flame too.
So any kind of energy work you're doing, it will affect your twin flame on a deep level too. So I know a lot of people are dealing with, oh my God, my twin flame is um, with someone else. They're not ready to be with me. They don't want to be with me. I would be getting chakra openings and uh, energetic blocks removed to help them come back to you. So um, on this note, I have my website URL above. I'm sorry for my rants. I'm real passionate about this. I have my URL above. Um, literally, I'll be here all day for until 5 for energy work and readings. And um, I would suggest getting a chakra opening. I just put a meme up on this page that says um, chakras are basically software for your computer system. That is the best meme I've seen yet. That is totally accurate. And we need to clean out the garbage, the debris. We need to get rid of these energetic blocks. Um, anytime I do a chakra opening, I'm actually sweeping your entire energy body and removing any energetic blocks as well too and um, me and my twin flame do all of our work together that's actually the amazing thing we're able to do our work remotely and together so it really takes both of our energy to do this because when you merge back into one um, with your twin flame there's actually a third energy that merges with you it is a source energy a God energy and that's why twin flames are so powerful together that's why peace love and harmony is absolute a necessity um, I am going to do some kind of news. I just might skim through it. I don't really have a lot anyway. I'm going to do a little bit of news. I don't know. Um, Mexico is having a water crisis. In fact, the government is giving people two barrels of water a day. Families are reusing every drop of water. Across Mexico City, two million people are being hit hard by this water crisis. We had a magnitude 6.0 hit India. It's the 14th major quake of 2017. This would be Earth chakras opening, finally. Avian flu is taking hold of the United States. Alabama found bird flu um, at three poultry faculties after reports last week in Tennessee and Wisconsin. Um, if I wasn't type O negative, I would be a vegan or vegetarian. I grew up like that and for my blood type, it was very unhealthy. So I do eat meat, but I'm very picky about it. I definitely will tell you I wouldn't be eating any chicken or poultry at this point though. Or cows. Or pigs. <laughs> I don't know what that leaves you. Think about it though. Um, almost half a million acres of Clark County, Kansas burned in wildfires, 9,000 cattle killed. Um, we're expecting a really big volcanic eruption in Mexico. We just had that, pa I can't say it good, Papacatapati <laughs> volcano in Mexico, but they're expecting a bigger eruption. I love it because I'm waiting for the San Andreas fault line to go off and all this stuff's happening. That's about to be Earth's uh, root chakra opening up in California and I'm actually excited for it. Um, what's happening is the third dimension is being destroyed. Lower dimensions are being purged out and that looks like earth, wind, and fire. So you're seeing stuff being destroyed. Um, I had someone say, well, that's our GMO ridden food. What do we care, right? Honestly, yeah. Um, kind of lower frequencies are being purged out. I saw a news article in Ethiopia where 150 people were digging through garbage and like literally the, gar the earth ate them up. <laughs> yeah, digging through a dump and garbage and it swallowed up 150 people. Well, it's purging out people picking through garbage. What do we honestly care? So it's purging out lower frequencies. Um, it's kind of like I saw a post where we're inside of a giant egg and it's kind of cracking open and we're seeing the higher dimensions and the lower ones at once. Um, we really need to anchor into these higher dimensions at this point. Um, my last thing is um, live to um, in East Bay Elementary in Oakland, they had a neurovirus outbreak. They had 70 kids sick with neurovirus and had to close the school. So you're just going to see outbreaks, a lot of sicknesses. And think about it, they're spraying chemtrails on people and making them sick. So you're wondering why everyone's getting sick right now. Um, in Sweden, they're using bioprinters to create skin. They use a computer and a 3D printer. They believe in the future they'll be able to print complex organs such as hearts and livers. I hate to be the one to tell you they're already able to print complex organs. Um, we have amazing technology that's being suppressed. So we've already had these advancements, but that wouldn't be very good for the organ trade now, would it? Um, type your name. I am going to do some limited cards, I believe. Type your name if you want one and if you're just logging on make sure to um, share this video I would say the theme of the day will be love we need more love of whatever kind um, I don't care if it's love with your dog your cat your kid your boyfriend your girlfriend your mom um, people in your family your co-workers just people like literally <laughs> more love 
I can't tell if I can see the writing backwards or the right way. <laughs> More love to everyone. It's love. If we're choosing love and fear does not exist, all of these reptiles die. They're dying anyway. They're already dying. Like, if we just stay in love and we choose love, all of these negative entities will cease to exist. They actually live on our fear energy. So all we have to do is eradicate fear and a new world will be born. I see Amanda Stahl. I don't know if there's a lag in comments or what. Material harvest. This is what I'm working on, but not in the same way one might think. I'm working on reprogramming myself to love and abundance. And um, I'm breaking out of that prison planet where you're always sick. You never have enough. Everyone hears me say this all the time. You're always sick. You never have enough. And you're always going to be broke. And you're going to be a slave forever. And that's it. And you'll die. And you're going to believe in the, probably some kind of Christianity, Catholic religion if you live in the United States. And you'll be recycled right back here to do it all over again. A couple of million more lives. Because it's a soul trap. We're around these soul traps that just suck us right back here. And a lot of people are just incarnating over and over on kind of a reincarnation um, loop. Uh, not me. I am liberating my soul. I am out of here. This will be my last life learning in this dimension or these planes. And I'm real excited about it. So just stay on the spiritual path and it will pay off in a big way. <clears throat> Shannon Dark Flame. Well, you need to work on your third eye. I would um, recommend a chakra opening at some point. Um, anyone who's getting a chakra card definitely has an issue going on in that energy center. So I would recommend getting a chakra opening um, so that you can get ready and maybe speed up that process. You have to understand that you have that option to speed that up. You have that option to reunite anytime you want. You can choose it. I assure you, anytime you want. I just didn't know most of my life that I had these options. And free will is a bitch when you don't know how to use it. So I'm trying to teach you guys these little tricks that I've learned that really work. I've transformed my whole life. Um, me and my twin flame are married. <laughs> We just got married. Um, we're working on the American dream. We are. We finished our first contract in getting married, and now our next one is to have two kids together. And that's the only contract I have here, which is really amazing. So there are ways that you can speed up any contracts that you have left to get to your flame faster. Um, it's all up to you. Don Walker. Yes, you, um, you don't get the right nutrients. You see, um, me actually has a lot of like vitamin B. It's not so much fats like people think, um, but it's just healthier for my body type. It's just how I regulate it and my twin flame. It depends on um, what type of blood you are really because type O is a hybrid and you're actually meant to eat meat. We're supposed to be actually eating meat as humans. And I see a lot of people that are very unhealthy when they go vegan or vegetarian. Um, my younger sister had her hair falling out. So I know all about it. I like to keep my body as healthy as I can. Work on your friendships and your alliances. Um, and for anyone who gets upset by that, um, anyone who's vegan, any animal that I am eating, contracted to come and learn here with me. So that is okay. So we have to get rid of this polarity. Um, I'm not saying it's okay how these animals are being treated. I'm not saying any of these systems are okay at this point. But um, I know a lot of people get really upset over food. You guys should be caring more about spiritual matters than our bodies than our physical bodies and what we're putting in them. That's pretty obsolete. Um, it actually has to do with your soul and spiritual stuff. So I can only work on my body so much. That's not going to get me very far. Just work more on your friendships. Like I said, we need more love with everyone in our life, especially our friends and our family. Let's see. Melissa Long. Oh, you have had a past life. At some point, you can get a reading with me and I can go into your past life. Um, the links above you can set up anything on our website and I check it all day long and get right back to you I do my readings um, on Facebook video chat So literally you can just sign up on the site and I'll contact you immediately. That's the amazing thing about um, these social networks Literally, this means abundance or a baby if you want it to be a baby Usually it means abundance or money money of some kind is coming to you. So it's a very good card Jill Renee, you dreamt this last night. I was having insane dreams last night. Um, I don't think I was really a fan of them. <laughs> Mental conflict. Yes, I feel you. I'm on the same vibe as you. I was having intense dreams last night too. Um, literally just work on killing that ego voice in your head and following your soul because it will torture you just talking to you all day long and feeding you nonsense. You have to go with your intuition and get rid of that voice in your head. This is my Twin Flames card as well.
Oh, when am I doing past life cards again? Jen Lynn, I will do them Monday. I will bring them Monday and we'll do past life cards. Monday morning, say, between 9 and 10. Because today's my last day to go live till then. But I'll bring them Monday for sure and do them. And I'll do, like, a longer one. when Because I'll have a lot more energy. On Mondays, I'm very energized. By Thursday, I'm like, okay, I'm ready for the weekend like everyone else, right? Thursday's my weekend. Um, let's stop sacrificing our energy, Jen. We have to be more careful with our energy. That's what I'm learning too. Um, my tune flame tells me all the time, like last night, this instrument needs tunes. And I love it when he says that because they say that in law one when um, she's overworked and channeling too much. So that's what happens to me. We had to make sure we're recharging. And I'm guilty of that too. I'm like the energizer bunny. I'll just keep going and going and going. And we have to be very careful with our energy now um, because we need it to... We need it um, to manifest things in our own life. But remember, when we're energy healing, we're not using our own energy. Um, and it's actually filling us up with cosmic energy to heal other people. So just be aware of it. You're learning energetic matters and you're doing so good. Um, you have such a bright future in front of you. I'm always like so proud of you. I can see exactly where you're going to end up and it's so amazing. So just stay patient and stay focused. I know it's like something has to give already, right? I've been on this path so long. Something has to give already. Alrighty. All right. Well, something is about to give for me and my twin flame. I'm not even joking. Big things are about to happen for us. Huge things. Um, huge things are happening where we're living. Um, our entire bathtub broke and they wanted like $10,000 to put a new one in. And then ever, there's other things like wrong with this house. Like the side porch was falling in and they said the real estate person told us it would be like $500 to fix it. And it turns out to be like $5,000. And then there was something else broke in the bathroom where the house shouldn't have passed inspection. So we're about to sue the real estate people. So they have to take the house back and buy a new house, like literally. So we're doing really big things. Um, but he also has like where his family like totally screwed him out of um, his grandfather died and they just totally screwed him. Well, the tables are flipping. When you're the little guy and you're at the bottom, eventually you have to be at the top. It's the laws of the universe. Things will flip for you. So you might feel like, I'm at the bottom, I'm right here. You're going to come up. You're going to ascend. Watch. So things will give. Something will pay off. Stay on this path. We have amazing things planned. We came here, and we planned out every detail of our lives before we came here. Do you think I would have come here if I didn't plan out something amazing for myself? No way. No way. You think I would try to come here to save humanity if I didn't have amazing things in my future? Amazing things. So just stay positive because we draw whatever we're putting out. So if I'm negative, I'm going to see low vibration negative things. And I can just choose to break everything around me with my mind if that's what I want, right? But I'm going to choose to stay positive, live in abundance, and I'm going to change my entire reality doing that. And it's working. I'm just trying to put out love and a love vibe all the time so I get love back all the time from the universe. And it's kind of amazing. So something will give for everyone. Stay on this path. Stay pure. Work on more spiritual purity. That's what this is all about. Everything. Everything. This whole matrix. Cola sweet stuff. Yes, you are. So close. A second away. You're using your intuition. You're doing very good. Just keep working at raising your vibration. A lot of the people I'm drawing to me, you guys might be the matrix twin and had a really hard life, or you might be the spiritual one. It depends. So we switch. Um, that's why I see people like, my twin flame had it so easy. Mine too, right? My twin flame had it so easy this life. Oh my God. So easy. I went to hell and back the depths of hell and back and had to come back up. He had it so easy. While I was getting broken and thrown around the matrix, he was chilling, waiting for me. So just keep that in mind. Use your intuition. You're going to know. You're just going to know. It's like a feeling of knowing. Jill Renee. People eating garbage just randomly. Yes, well, don't do that either. We want to um, eat better foods, especially if anyone, <laughs> I'm choosing my words carefully, especially if anyone saw my post yesterday from what the, is going into your food, those blue ma magala, I can't even say it, magala and things going in your food and in your chemtrails. Yes, we definitely want to make better decisions. Choose wisely. Um, all of these choices go out in the ocean and you drown. Don't make any big decisions. Choose wisely. Be very conscious about your decisions right now. Daniel Galag Galander. 
Yeah, there's just sicknesses everywhere. Um, you would be amazed at the percentage of people that um, have something going on with their head, like headaches, whatever, and it's caused by um, by metals in the brain. We see it everywhere with Alzheimer's and dementia and all these things. They're all caused by metal in the brain from um, chemicals being overloaded on us. Literally, Danielle, work on um, literally your heart chakra. At some point, you would benefit from a heart uh, chakra opening so I could remove that pain physically from you. So you just have a lot of pain in that energy center. Work on your heart chakra and um, let go of any past pain or grief. You had to experience it to open your heart chakra to unconditional love. Deepa Godapa. I can never say anyone's name, but destiny. This is how I view destiny. You create your own reality. We live in a manifest reality. So while I'm contracted to do certain things with my twin flame, like all of you guys are contracted to be with certain people at certain times, those are the only things that are really tying us down, these contracts. We have free control to create our reality as we want it. So um, when I had a real low vibration and I was on drugs, I created hell on earth. Real easy to do, actually. A lot of people are still doing it. Now I'm using my knowledge to try to create heaven on earth. And I'm kind of trying to teach you guys what I'm doing because it's working so amazingly. Brittany Duncan. Go meditate. Go recharge. You want to um, reunite with your twin flame? Spend some time alone and meditate. Be okay on your own because we have to complete ourselves as a person before we can reunite with our flame. Completely complete ourselves. We have to be okay with being alone. We had to be okay with being alone. I've also seen all this before, this entire feed before I'm even saying it. I've all seen this all play out too. Um, so it's kind of like I just got a really crazy deja vu. But literally, um, we had to go within. And it's not like go within and then you'll find your flame. We're trying to manifest our flame in the physical though. In the physical. So I know people say go within, find your spark. Um, that works to a certain extent. Work on raising your vibration and putting out the vibes for your flame. It will help. Marco Antonio. This card is for everyone. This is what I'm going for, through a metamorphosis. I'm uh, turn, changing from a caterpillar to a butterfly and it's an amazing process. My wings aren't even ready. They're still being built um, and I'm still working on my arc and perfecting my soul. So I'm still transforming in front of you guys. I could have come easily and done videos in like another year or two and I was fully healed. But I thought I would do it along my process. So I'm still learning and healing just like all of you guys. Um, we're all equal in where we are. No one's above one another. Um, but we're all transforming and we're going to turn into something amazing. Or realize we're something amazing. Edgar Flores. <clears throat> Conflict and defeat. Yes, this is what I had to do. This is why I was beaten and broken so bad so that I would turn over and I would admit defeat and I would pray and hand over my life to the divine. That's what it's all about. Um, you don't have to get to that bottom bottom. You can stop descending at any point. You can choose that you've had enough that you're going to actually hand over your power and give it back to the universe and then it will multiply it for you. So hand over your power. Say you've had enough. Hand it over to the universe. Have some faith in the unseen. Um, if you believe in magic, you're going to see magic everywhere. I assure you on this path. Raham Bahandi, Bahardi. You know, it's so amazing. I know your energy is so good. Um, you're so you're so connected with me because you're um, a very pivotal member of my soul family. But I suck at saying your name. So bear with me. Love begins. Yes, I already told you this. This message is for everyone, my twin flame rant. That's why you're here, actually. So this card is for everyone. We're going to begin with self-love. We have to love ourselves completely. How would, how could I expect my twin flame to love my every flaw, my every scar, my every, everything I'm not good at, he still loves? How could someone else love all of those things about me if I couldn't love those things myself? How could um, he love, um, love me for me if I can't love me for me? It's impossible. So we have to love ourselves completely. We have to be okay. We're so hard on ourselves for our experiences. Um, I had to go through every experience to become who I am now. So if I took out any of those programs, I wouldn't be me. So just know they were all necessary. We're much too hard on ourselves. We are not these experiences. 
I am not these experiences I chose to come experience this life. That is not me. I am an absorber. I wasn't an absorber. I wasn't even in this body most of the time. I'm telling you, my soul was pretty disconnected from my body. So you are not these experiences. You are so much more. We have to wake up to who we really are. And we are unconditional love, all of us. All of us. Complete unconditional love. That's why I love my dog. My dog has mastered unconditional love. All dogs have. Pets have mastered this. This is what we're trying to master. So they're pretty much gods to us. Candace Smith. Triumph and success. Literally, you're so successful in everything that you're doing right now. Just stay focused. Stay on the path. Um, work at lifting your vibes and staying positive. I'm hoping that in doing this video, I'm lifting you guys up to where I am. And I'm vibrating so high right now. I couldn't get any higher. I'm in the clouds. <laughs> I don't stay grounded. I don't, I don't protect my energy. I don't need to. I share it freely. And I'm connected. And I can just tap in and get more energy. So I share my light freely. And I'm trying to give it to you so that you guys can cultivate your own light. And and become that bright light that we're all meant to be. So um, I give my light freely. It's the only thing I have to give. And I'm hoping to raise your vibrations up. Because you can be in a room with someone real high vibe. And they can go down to your level. Or you can come up to mine. And I'm not coming down today. I don't care what kind of negativity comes at me. I'm going to let it bounce off of me. Because I'm too high vibe for that. It can't even phase me. So just work at staying more high vibe so that any kind of negativity that is going on in your life, that it will just, it won't even phase you. It will just kind of bounce off. I lost my place, but I'm doing Allison McLean Walker. And look, I already just did the whole rant for you. You are that light you're becoming. We had to become that light. I dislike um, when people keep, when healers keep making it so you have to go back to them. Like they give you a little bit of light and they heal you a little bit, but they're not teaching you how to fully heal yourself. And then you keep on having to go back. I dislike that. I just wish everyone could cultivate their own light and become that light, that love that they want so bad. So that's what we're working on. You're an amazing light worker. An amazing light worker. And your healing journey has truly begun. Let's all just focus on healing our bodies and our souls right now. And amazing things will happen. If we all healed, we would stop reflecting negative things back to each other. If we all healed fully, it would be amazing. We would stop reflecting things we don't like about ourselves back. And we would reflect all things we like about ourselves. And it's really amazing. Jeff Allen. Geoffrey. Work on your throat chakra. <coughs> And I start coughing um, because I feel these blocks very physically. Um, literally work on your throat chakra. Sing in the shower. Um, speak your truth more. I don't care who I offend. I'm past that. I'm not going to um, hide who I am anymore. Because I did that my whole life. I tried to fit in with my family and society. And ultimately, I was very miserable and unhappy. I ended up on psych meds, anxiety meds, right? <laughs> I ended up, <laughs> I ended up uh, a droid, right? With a calcified third eye. So I wouldn't advise that. I would advise speaking your truth and staying true to who you are. Um, because it doesn't matter. We'll be tested greatly on this path. When I started doing live videos, I would get called the Antichrist. Attacked every day. Um, all this negative stuff, whatever. Now it's pretty smooth. You will be tested on this journey but it will be so worth it i assure you speak your truth get a chakra opening let's align and open all of our chakras that's my goal i work very hard at this <laughs> kathy whaling i love all the love by the way you guys i have some good energy today i have some high i had the best high vibe energy yesterday i was telling my flame about it it was amazing um and i'm riding high again today i love these solar storms i dislike lunar energy you see me getting grumpy, emotional, that's when the purging and releasing goes into play. I'd much rather the solar storms any day. Not to mention I'm trying to manifest summer. It might melt the snow here. Susan Irene, good, high vibe. You are not suffering in silence. That's how I can tune in remotely um, and heal people. I was, I was actually, I, I don't have time to read. I really wish I did because then I could really be enlightened, right? No, I don't have time to read anything. But I did get this book. Um, it was written by Edgar Cayce's um, son, and I was flipping through it yesterday, and it was his case files. And Edgar Cayce, you were able to give him a patient's name and address, and he was able to tune in remotely and diagnose them and scan them medically. So that's kind of what I do. <laughs> so it's really amazing. Um, I do it without your address, though. So I can just do it by your energy and your social media site or your information. So it's kind of amazing. We're deeply connected. I assure you that um, remote, even remotely, it's 
just as effective this kind of stuff so you're you're deeply connected with everyone right now you're merging back into one with your soul um, group or your soul family and it's really amazing to watch that was the lie that was the illusion that we're separate that was the big lie <laughs> You are separate. You are separate. You are competitive. You are individual. You are ego. That was the grand illusion, and that's not true. We've come back to realizing we're deeply connected. Um, I can feel any of your pain. I scroll down Facebook, and I'm always, I'll am always i be the first when someone's sick to send you healing energy or whatever, um, just on Facebook, but I can feel your pain. I had several people had their pet die yesterday, and I was taking on a lot of that pain for people. I'm an empath. I'll take on your pain for you and help dissipate it back into the universe. So I assure you, if I can feel the pain across the world, um, we're deeply connected. Ali Minaz. Aw, we're all deeply appreciated. Um, I'm drawing tomorrow's leaders to me in some way i am drawing very spiritually gifted people to me and it's amazing to watch i'm not sure in what regard i'm just a little piece of this puzzle i'm not sure i haven't figured it all out but it's pretty amazing to watch look at this is infinite possibilities if this card could just keep going infinitely it would you have infinite choices in front of you right now infinite possibilities start to make better um choices just be more consciously aware and literally um, just make better decisions. Think about things. We would just make snap decisions and it would limit us in the past. So just think things through. Angel Alm. Power. I don't have any power by myself. Any power I, um, I can derive would be borrowed from the universe so that I can help heal people. <coughs> I don't heal people. I facilitate in the healing of others. So it's not actually my energy that's healing. It's a source energy. Um, I heal with an angelic healing system from the sixth dimension or sixth density, however you want to say it. And it's much more effective than um, these kind of earth label um, systems going on right now. So any kind of power I have isn't my own. It's a power um, from the angels and the team of healers and <laughs> that I'm working with. So really, if you want power, become service of others in some kind of big way. Um, because that's how you'll get power to help other people. It's not going to be to help yourself ever, I assure you. Katie Slattery. Shadow. Literally, this is your soul, this is your ego, and you're having a battle, and any kind of light and evil or dark and evil that you're, dark and light you're seeing in the world is just a reflection of the, what's going on inside of you. So if you don't like the world, you can change yourself, and it will change the whole world in an amazing kind of way. So just follow your soul. Jackie L. Bayer. Need a career. Why don't you take our Reiki classes and become a Reiki master or a Reiki healer? We teach Reiki. It's an amazing place. I know a lot of people are evolving out of it, but I recommend everyone starting in Reiki at least till Reiki master before they start other kind of energy healing things because it's really good for the basics. Um, so that's where I began my journey. I might have evolved past it, but it was really amazing and changed my life. Maybe look into um, like getting a numerology reading or an astrology chart done by us so it can tell you your life path and your life purpose so you know that's really what you're meant to be doing though. Um, but there's just so many options out there. You don't have to go be a slave um, on Prison Planet 9 to 5. You can use your creative gifts um, to create a job for yourself like I did. Speak your truth. Um, literally, it doesn't matter who it's offending. Work on your throat chakra. That's good. You're working on the fifth dimension. You're doing so good. That tells me you're at a really good place spiritually. Um, at some point, you might want to get a chakra opening too to remove any of these kind of blocks, these limits that you've placed upon yourself. Zachary Heal, good morning. You're working on your crown chakra. This is your connection with source. Um, I had a Kudalini awakening, which opened all my chakras. Um, and uh, it probably would have been easier just to get a chakra opening, right? <laughs> it probably would have been a lot easier to get a chakra opening done by us. But I had a Kudalini awakening that opened all my chakras. And this was the last one that opened for me. Um, they don't open in any particular order. It had to thoroughly scan you to be able to tell um, if you have any other blockages. But work on this one. And when you have all your chakras open, that is enlightenment. You'll have that source energy flowing through your body that you need. Skipping around everywhere. Bear with me. Tammy Smitherson. Good morning. Work on your root chakra. Let go of fear. 
Let go of fear. You can't have trust and faith in the universe and have fear at the same time. We have to let go of fear. Um, and all these negative entities die and we win. It's kind of like a video game. <laughs> it's kind of like a video game. We have to let go of fear. Eradicate fear and we win the game. <laughs> That's what's holding us back. That is what's blocking us. We're doing it to ourselves. We never had a reason for these fears. These terrorist attacks are fake. Anything. 9-11. Um, Pearl Harbor. It's all fake. It's all designed to elicit a fearful response from you so that you would hand over your power to the government um, in exchange for your liberties. So it's always been fake. There was never of ever any kind of real threat. <laughs> never. Maybe a long time ago. I doubt it. So I really don't believe that. I don't believe we have a reason to fear anything at all. Especially not even the government who's taking our liberties. No one. <laughs> we don't have a reason for any kind of fear. So I don't really understand this fear. I mean, there's fear of death, but once we get past that, what else is there really to be afraid of? Um, it's just kind of amazing. I'm going to let you guys go in one second, but I just want to say um, that if I have a question, I can just ask the universe, right? But guess how I get my answer when I'm quiet? When I'm quiet. When my head is quiet, that's when I'll actually hear the real answer. So um, work on meditation, guys. Go meditate. Be quiet. Be still. And you'll get the answers that you're seeking. Um, so just go within. Meditate. Work on love. Work on being love. And work on reuniting with your flames for those that haven't done it yet. Work on healing so that you can reunite faster. Um, I'm going to let you guys go really early on that note because I'm going to be here for energy work all day and I want to conserve my energy for that. So um, I would highly recommend getting your chakras open and aligned or some kind of reading. Check out our site and I'm going to let you guys go. I'll be back live Monday and namaste, love and light.